Look, I don't have time to explain why I don't have time to... Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Can we call... Can we call cut on that, please? Cut. That's a cut. Everyone, please. All positions. <sighs> Hi, what seems to be the problem here? Yeah, sorry. Didn't we... Didn't we just use this gag, like, two weeks ago in the Stranger Edition unboxing? Um, do you know what? Don't worry about it. No one's gonna notice. So, guys, please, can we reset positions? We'll take it from... No time to explain, thank you, and... What about all the props and everything I got made for this video? I was... I thought we were gonna do like a cosplay type thing where I was gonna be like the drifter on Europa. What happened to that? <sighs> Shinodi Nando, was it? Look, can I be perfectly honest here? Can we just... Can we just wrap this up? No one is gonna see this video anyways, okay? Firstly, Datto has already unboxed the collector's edition, so... No one is gonna come and watch your little thing. Okay, but that's besides the point. At the end of the day, I don't wanna reuse a gag. People who watch my videos are gonna notice I re I reuse the gag from that one. It just feels really kind of cheap and lazy to reuse a gag, right? I think I speak for everyone here when I say absolutely no one <laughs> watches these videos for your skits, okay? So can we... Just start rolling. All right, people, from the top, please, let's take it from the beginning here. Oh my goodness, watches it for your skits. Hey, Collector Bros, welcome to another unboxing with me, Shinobi Nando, and today I'm doing the Destiny 2 Beyond Light Collector's Edition from the Bungie Store. I am a huge, huge Destiny fan, and in fact, I have every Collector's Edition ever made, plus some of the extras, like the Numbskull Stranger Edition, so be sure to check out those There'll be a card somewhere or a link in the description. Right, without further ado, let's jump straight into the unboxing. All right, so we got this big old box, Destiny 2 Beyond Light, Destiny 2 Beyond Light Collector's Edition. Let's back detailing some of the things we're gonna get. Now we're gonna be trying to pay extra careful attention to all the little things because Bungie like to hide all sorts inside there. So in the inner collector's box, we got the crest there. Tower Crest, Tricorn, Jupiter, Europa. From the inside there, oh, and the first thing we see is the bag and the the artwork for Beyond Light that we shall be used to by now. Looks like there's a little magnet in there. So we've got the bag there. And we'll take it out of the box, one sec. So we've got the Explorer's bag. Seems to be a Velcro patch there. Let's see what's inside this pocket. Nothing. <laughs> Typical. And over here we have, well, I'll show you. We have the water bottle. Crest on the front. Some markings there. Is there anything in this front pocket? No. This pocket number two is empty. Okay, third time's the charm. Let's open up the middle. So, first thing we got is this. Little message, access restricted. A little bit of lore there. A little personal message. Right, next out the bag. Oh, we got a kind of foam inside there. It's this journal, this book. Inside, there's no doubt even more secrets. If I find any, I'll let you know. back there. Next, I think I just broke my phone. Next, we have this. Let's gently open this up. So, oh, we got a patch that we can put on the front of our bag. We got a sticker. Okay. And we have a postcard. The Arctic Adventure awaits. Europa. Okay, so if we maybe get rid of the foam gently, so I can put it back in in case it's meant to be in there. 
we move on to oh the shard of darkness wow this is heavy guys and that is metal or die cast or something oh that is cool um there's a little tab here pull the tab you could charge it with a usb port turn it on so that's actually a light to let me know it's charging so i'm glad i didn't press too hard there ha <laughs> that would have been bad the button's actually there i'll have to charge that up and get you guys some footage of that when it's lit So also in here, we have this. Um, I have to take a look and see if that's anything. So I took out the second layer of styrofoam just because it was hard to get out off camera. And inside here is gonna be our instructions. So that's gonna tell me what to do with the splinter, sorry, the splinter of darkness, as well as the charging cable. So that's it for what's inside the bag, except for the silicone. Uh, we'll take a look next at getting this out. Does it just slide nicely out? Oh, it does. So that's our water bottle. It, it does feel very kind of cheap plasticky. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, that is like very thin plastic. Um, kind of looks different from the in the photo. But I mean, I'm not gonna actually use it as a water bottle. All right guys, that is the Destiny 2 official collector's edition for Beyond Light from the Bungie store. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is actually another collector's edition in the background there. That is the Stranger edition from Numskull Designs. For the second time running, what we have as the collector's edition from Bungie is, is a bag. The Destiny 2 collector's edition, yes, I know that's confusing. I mean, the first one when the game originally came out was Hawthorne's bag. And this time we have the Explorers. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. For some reason, I, I thought it was gonna be bigger. Uh, it is, you know, just a little travel travel bag. A little, a little travel bag. I do like the pouches, uh, the material. It's hard to describe. It's It's got kind of like that plastically feel, like a backpack to it, but it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't look cheap either in real life. Um, there's nothing in the pouches like I showed in the unboxing, but we can put like the journal and stuff like that. And I didn't do it because I like to keep things pristine, but you can put the patch there. For me, the coolest thing was the Shard of Darkness. It, it's die cast, I believe. It feels metal. It's cold to the touch, which is quite, you know, cool thematically considering what it is and where it's from. Sorry, this Splinter of Darkness. You can change the light up modes like I showed in the B-roll, have it breathe off. Now mine, I always have bad luck with Bungie Store. I don't know why. Mine will not do the display of when I'm charging it with the LED. So that's kind of annoying. I might have to contact Bungie again. I'm just kind of worried of something similar happening like it did with my Ghost where after about a month, just stop charging, stop working. I, so my Dinklebot just doesn't work. I really don't want that to happen with my Splinter of Darkness. I also had a similar issue with my, my Cryptoglyph. Now, it wasn't the Cryptoglyph itself. It was actually the, the metal box that it comes in that was also broken. So I, I just seem to have really poor luck with these things. Also, quite funnily enough, the instructions aren't complete on English. So it's a good thing I can read French and Spanish. While I might not be bilingual anymore, trilingual, I, I am receptively. So it's, it, you know, it's a good thing I, I could read the Spanish instructions because even the French ones were incomplete. All the notes and messages are really cool. You know there's going to be like hidden codes for emblems and stuff like that inside uh, of, the, of the journal. And on the note here, last time in the cryptograph one, there was a code we had to work out. This one seems a bit more straightforward. So far, the only thing I've noticed is the code on the back of the Europa postcard. So... Let me know in the comments if people have found more. I will be uploading close-up shots of everything to my Instagram as well uh, and Reddit if, if that helps. Maybe there's some more codes I haven't worked out or other people haven't worked out yet. Overall, I'm happy with it. I think it's unfair to compare it to the full collector's edition from Destiny 2 when it launched. And compared to like the old collector's editions from D1, I, I think this new range of them from the Bungie store directly are, are much better. Why did I have a boom arm guy if I wear a lapel mic in all my videos? 
I don't really think that through. So guys, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more collector's edition unboxings, more collectibles possibly from the Bungie store, my guides, my reviews, and especially my What's in the Box series where I break down what editions you can get where, how much they're going to cost you, where's the best price, and what you get in them. I even break down digital editions. I did a version for Beyond Light where I actually showed off the pre-order bonus items. So please check that out. Don't forget to follow me on social media as I didn't get to use any of these props. I might be doing a giveaway. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. You guys watch my skits, right? Like, that's a thing?